Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for the month of December, 2022. Hope you guys had a great week. I am gonna take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind that the monthly readings are a bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring for you right now, they may occur in the next few weeks. So let's get started, Libra. Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra? All right, Libra. You have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So you're kind of feeling a bit unhappy about a situation here. It's crossed by the Four of Swords in the reverse. Um, this may have to do with some communication that you've received. Now, this would be somebody that you're communicating with or wanting to communicate with, um, and there's been a gap in communication. Um, let's see what's happened here in the past. The world. Yeah, something ended. Something ended in the past. Um, this could also be somebody who lives at a distance from you. But it, and it could be both actually for, for a lot of you. Um, I do feel like uh, either you're unhappy about something to do with communication, wanting communication with this person, or you're unhappy with the communication that you did receive. Let's see why all this is happening, Libra. Oh. King of Wands in the reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign that would be a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, but this also indicates to me, it could be a couple of things. It could be that there's um, no action here, a lack of action on your part or on their part. It could also indicate that the passion has, has waned that perhaps you're not feeling the same that you used to for this person. Let's see what's on your mind. Show me what's on Libra's mind. The three of wands in the reverse. Yeah, you may be tired of waiting for this person. Um, there could be, you may be thinking that there's a lack of planning here. Um, Three of Wands can also indicate that um, you may feel that your future no longer lies in this direction. Let's see what may happen in December. Show me December, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I'm still seeing the same. Um... So, a lack of action, feeling um, feeling a lack of passion towards a, a subject here. Let's see how you're showing. All right, so you're coming out as the Four of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you, you feel that this there's no stability in this connection, feeling like um, there's an ending here. Let's see the energy coming towards you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody that's holding on to this connection. Spirit's advice, we have the lovers in reverse. Now this could be, um, this could have to do with not being on the same page. It could have to do with the ending that we've see, we're seeing here. It could have to do with um, not making a choice as well. So we'll have to, we'll clarify. Let's see what is occurring at the end of this, this month. Show me the conclusion. The moon. <laughs> so things that are not quite clear, things that are hidden, things that um, are secretive. There may be secrets. A lack of clarity. All right, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Now, this is underlying energy. 
And what this tells me, Libra, is that this is a connection here because this is a connection that has to do with a person um, and has to do with a love connection, it looks like. Um, it tells me that this connection is blocked. There's a blockage here of some sort. I can see that the uh, central issue, you're not very happy about this and you are kind of reaching a point where you're, you're, it's a culmination. You're coming to an end of this cycle. You, you're, you're desiring for this um, cycle of unhappiness to be over. Um, it's, it, and it's being affected by the Four of Swords um, in the reverse. So that's communication with somebody that you have not communicated with or you're desiring it. So I can see that there's unhappiness. All right, and we have the sun. So you're you're getting clarity about something. Yeah, you're getting clarity. Let's see why the four of swords is here. Yeah, same thing. You have the ten of you have the ten of cups in the reverse. Very unhappy about communication. Very unhappy about communication. So, um, in the past, we have the magician in reverse. There was a there was a cycle here. There was something that ended because it could have been because of manipulation. Um, there could have been manipulation within this, and the cycle ended. You have been unhappy. It resulted in a lack of communication, and. Yeah, Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah. Yeah, there's a... I feel like you want communication here, Libra, and there is no communication. And if you did receive communication, the quality of the communication was, wasn't was up to par. It wasn't the type of communication that would have made you happy. In the past, this person may have been very inconsistent and that's why all this is happening. This is happening because of a lack of communication, a lack of action. Um, in the past, this person was inconsistent. And I feel that you are now losing your, your, um, you're losing your desire really to be involved in this connection. I feel like this was a connection you really had a lot of desire for in the past. And now it's just like you, it's a turn off. There's something here. It's the lack of communication and the lack of, um, lack of action is causing you to become just, <laughs> it's a turn off for you. And you're realizing that you're, you want to end this because it's, it's, making you unhappy. And I feel like you may have been kind of holding on to it, hoping for that communication or hoping that the quality of the communication would improve. And it, it hasn't, it, it's not manifested properly. And I feel like you are realizing that it's not going to, that you're, you're not going to be happy in this, that the communication is not going to be what you want it to be, that the this person is not going to be, they're not going to take action. They're not going to communicate. And if they do, it won't be properly. You could be at, like I said, you could be living at a distance from this person. Let's see what's on your mind. Um, we have the three of wands reversed. Why is that? Justice in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. You're tired of waiting. You feel that this person um, has not treated you in the justly, that they've, they've treated you wrong. And you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for them to take action, for them to communicate or to communicate properly. You're tired of waiting for things to manifest. And you're tired of waiting to be happy. I can see that as well. There's just... You're tired of it all. 
Yeah, so you're deciding that because you're not being treated well, that your future is not here. You, you've lost your desire for this connection. So I'm not sure why it's still showing up in your energy here. I think at one time it did make you very happy. And maybe that's why. But that happiness has ended. And it's now completely the opposite. It's, it's like day and night. You went from absolute happiness to being absolutely miserable with this connection. And it stems from a lack of action and a lack of communication. You may have also felt like this person was a player in the past. And you feel wrong. Do you feel that this person has treated you wrong? Let's, uh, let's look at December. You may have blocked this person or they may have blocked you. I can see that the connection itself is blocked. All right. Let's see what we've got. All right. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. So there's two kings here, Libra. Um, we have the Five of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands reversed is in your underlying energy. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Cups, and we have the King of Cups. You've got three out of four of the kings, which is interesting. Uh, let's see, which king do you not have? You've got Pentacles, Swords, Cups. Uh, you don't have, you do have Fire. Where is Fire? I saw Fire. Yeah. That's the underlying reason, but it's in the reverse. Okay, all your other kings are in the upright. Okay, so you've got all the kings here on the board, which is interesting. Um, that tells me that there may be a masculine here that is trying to ascend into an emperor, um, but for lack of action is not ascending. That's one. Um, yeah, there's a lack of action and a lack of passion that is causing this emperor to not ascend if if there's if there's an emperor here. So there might be a resistance to an ascension because a lack of action would be a it's a chosen it, it's something that's chosen. So, all right, so let's look at December. So, in December, it looks like you start out December with this absolute lack of passion for this situation. And it's because, like I said, there's no action here. I do see that, now this could be, um, this could be a same-sex uh, connection. Um, doesn't have to be, though. Uh, it could be that you have, oh, could be somebody that is already in another connection mm, with the, with the uh, king of pentacles here. That's the committed king and queen. Yeah, you could have somebody that's in another connection. And if that's the case, if there's somebody, if, yeah, if there, you would have ended this because you are refusing to be an option. You're refusing to be in a third party situation with somebody who is, who is married or in another connection. 
you would have taken your power back. And this person now regrets, regrets um, not taking action. Yeah, that's for some of you. Um, for others, I see that you're coming into this month again with this situation that I explained earlier. Basically, just feeling a lack of passion towards this connection and it's because there's been no action. You would be very focused on your money, um, very focused on your finances and your money. Either way, I see you in your power, regardless of which situation. And actually, for some of you, more than one of those situations is applicable. So take what what is applicable to you, leave the rest for another Libra. I see, regardless, you coming into your power here. Very strong air sign energy. This is within the first week of December. You will, you will come into your power and I feel that the person that is, um, this other person that things ended with, right? This person who's not taking action, this person is now regretting their actions. You're moving out of sadness. You've been feeling very sad, feeling a lack of passion for life in general, and I and and just this unhappiness, I feel like you're moving out of that energy. Yeah, you're you are. You're moving out of that energy because you have love coming in. The blockages that you've been experiencing are 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 lifting, Libra. And it's uh all these blockages are lifting. For some of you, it may be lifting with this person. For others, it's because there's someone else coming in. And honestly, Libra, I see two people. I see more than one person coming in. I see a new person coming in, possibly a Gemini or a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And I see the person from the past as well. But... I see things turning around for you because you're coming in kind of dissatisfied, really focusing on your money, um, focusing on your work, and then just really trying to stand in your power, trying to be authentic and stand in your power. But these thoughts do come through your mind, you know, uh, you feel that you've been treated unjustly. And I... I feel like this energy has gone on for quite some time. And you've taken your power back here. And when you did so, this person that you feel treated you unjustly, they're now beginning to regret whatever it is that they did. You're going to get communication from that person. I see communication coming in. If this person does live at a distance, they could be traveling to see you. Um, but I see communication that was previously blocked. You may unblock them or they may unblock you if, if, uh, there's been blocking on social media, but I see communication with this person from the past. I see this person regretting, you know, this, uh, lack of action and lack of communication and I do see them communicating. For some, I see them bringing a small gift or, possibly flowers. I see you being happy to, to see them, to talk to them. It could be a surprise. It may happen and, and you don't see it coming. But regardless, I see you being happy about it. But in addition to that, I'm also seeing, because you've taken back your power here, Libra, that there is, for some of you, there's new love coming in as well. And this person is going to be very compatible with you. This is a soulmate. And I feel like this person is going to, they're going to contact you. They're going to reach out towards you. And I do feel that 
there's there's love here. You're ending you're ending the month with love. You're ending the month with a choice basically between someone from the past and someone new for some of you and for others you're you're ending the month with a choice in love. Wow. Wow, that's that's good. All right, so let's look at your energy, Libra. You have the four of wands in the reverse. This is a relationship that has ended, and I feel that it's caused some instability for you. I feel like you've, you've uh, had it on your mind. You've tried to focus on your money and your work, and you've, you've done that for the greater part, but it's still there. Yeah, and see, it's clarified by the four of wands in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Ace of Swords. So the ending of this connection, it caused a instability for you. I feel like um, there's a feeling here that you thought everything was going along really well. And then all of a sudden, and it was sudden, things took a turn for the worse. And you felt like, you felt like it was just like, um... <laughs> It was the it was the worst luck ever. Like like everything was just going bad. And I do feel like you felt very destabilized somehow from this. I also feel like you you um kept waiting for things to change and you felt stuck. I I feel like you were waiting for communication from this person. And I can see from this that you you were not happy about it. Uh, any communication that get, did come through or perhaps you didn't get the communication, but I can see you felt stuck in this energy, this energy of being unstable, this energy of this ending. With the Ace of Swords though, you're going to be getting clarification and I feel like it's the communication that's gonna bring that. I feel like someone is coming forward to give you, to clear up this energy of, of this ending. Um, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Now, this is the energy that is coming towards you. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles reversed, and... King of Wands. Okay, so that lack of action. So now someone's going to take action. Interesting. So this is somebody who knows that they hurt you in the past. This is, for those of you that there was someone who was involved with someone else, and there was a third party, this person, um... Yeah, there there was some of somebody here that this person they're holding on to you. They've been holding on to you, but this person knows that they hurt you. There was a third party involved for some of you, and this person is now going to take action because they are passionate about you. Um they they may be telling you that the third party is over but I don't see that the third party's over. So I would question that because I don't see that here and I don't see it here. I see them telling you that. So I'd be careful about that, Libra. I'd question that because I feel like they might not be telling you everything. So question that. But this is someone who's been holding on to you. Now, not everybody had a third party, um, for others, this is somebody that is, they know that, uh, this ending, that it really hurt you. And I do feel that this person is very passionate about you. I feel like this person, um, they know that they had to take action. Otherwise, this would be a total and absolute loss. They don't want to lose you. See, this person sees you as as wife or husband material. And so this person, the thought of losing you, this person, it brings them pain. 
because they are holding on to you. They just have not been taking action and that's changing. All right, so let's look at Spirit's advice. We have the lovers in reverse. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Hierophant. Okay, so Page of Pentacles is an, a tangible offer Page of Wands, that's um, like flirtation and communication. And the Hierophant is commitment. So, Spirit is saying that there is going to be a decision to be made here. For some, it, it's going to be a decision between two. You may have to make a decision. It could be between an Earth sign and a Fire sign. Um, it could also be, um, that you have to make a decision, um, between two and that you're not to make the decision, that the decision will be about commitment. Yeah, the decision will be about commitment. One, one person will be offering a very small commitment. The other person will be offering a total commitment. And that you are to, you're to communicate. You're to, you're to, communication is going to give you the answer there. But don't make a commitment at this time. Hold back from a commitment. So don't make a choice. If you have a choice between two, don't 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 make a choice. If you have a choice, um, if even if it's just with one person, don't don't render final decision at this time. There's also a indication here that you might want to consult someone that you feel um, is possibly older or wiser or somebody, a spiritual leader of some sort, that you may want to consult someone about that offer, about an offer. But don't make a quick decision. That Hold back from the decision, is what Spirit is saying. All right, let's see why the moon is here. Now, this is your outcome at the end of the month. Right. We have the tower in reverse. We have the eight of coins reversed. Queen of cups reversed. And judgment in reverse. Okay. So... So there's a lot of things that are unknown here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are unknown. There's a indication. There's an indication of there being a judgment call. There's a judgment call or possibly a reconciliation in love in a situation that didn't work out to hold back. Hold back emotions. Um, don't reconcile. Don't make a judgment call about a situation that didn't work out. If you want to avert a, a tower, if you want to um, not have a tower moment, that there's some unknown things, that there's some things that are hidden possibly or just unknown. There, whatever these hidden and unknown things are, they could cause a tower moment. They could cause things not to work out. And so, you know, there's an indication that 
it, it could prevent a reconciliation and it would be a bad judgment call. And, and so it could also shut you down emotionally. So again, it's kind of that warning. There's a warning here that there are things that are either unknown or hidden that could cause a tower moment, that could cause this not to work out. And you are to not make a judgment call, hold back emotionally for now. Because there's things that are hidden or unknown. And it may not even be Libra that it's being intentionally hidden. It could just be that it's just unknown at this time. But you're being guided to, to hold back. Yeah, hold back. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords reversed. So there's a, a very painful ending that occurred, a betrayal, which we see in your energy that that cycle is ending. That's the cycle that caused the blockage, and that is now ending. Those, those swords are falling out of your back here. I do feel that um, you are going to be approached by this person. And there is going to be communication. I do feel that um, for some of you, you will be, you will get on the same page. And there is, it's going to end in a offer of love, possibly commitment, but hold back. And I also see for some of you, there's two people here that you're going to have a choice and Spirit is saying also hold back. Okay, there's no need to make a hasty decision in either case. All right, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. And we will see what you got. Rhodochrosite. Some of the names of these um, crystals are very, very difficult to pronounce. I love this card, though. It's absolutely beautiful. It says, be gentle with yourself. It says, you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So, let me read that directly from the book. That's a, a beautiful card, though. I love that card. Hang on just a second, Libra. All right, so it says, this card comes up because you have been through a lot and you've been pushing yourself. Now it is time to rest and recover. However, you must take charge in order for the rest and recovery to occur. You may have gone through a very upsetting situation and your heart needs to mend from old traumas triggered and compounded by recent experiences. If you have suffered a loss, please take time to heal. Honor yourself by getting extra sleep and avoiding anything or anyone with harsh energy. Bathe yourself in gentle energy, perhaps by receiving soothing self-care treatments, listening to relaxing music, and eating healthful comfort foods. This may be a time when you need to retreat, as long as you don't isolate yourself from the support that would be healing and helpful to you right now. Yeah, so I, I can see that that is really good advice for you right now, Libra, because, you know, you've kind of lost your, um, your oomph there for life. I do feel that you're unhappy right now, and it is because of these experiences. So be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to heal. Um, you know, you've been in some stuck energy, but you're going to get communication that's going to clear a lot of that up. And by the end of the month, I do see you moving into this energy where it, you're going to have a choice here, whether it's a choice between two or a choice of whether or not you want to reconcile with someone. And I feel like um, right now you just kind of need to cut yourself a little slack, you know? Be kind to you. All right, Libra, I hope this has been helpful. 
If you would like um, information on a personal tarot reading, that information can be found in the box beneath this video. And other than that, um, I will see you in your weekly readings in about a week. So until then, namaste.